And this is also another demonstration of linear expansion, uh, thermal expansion. This is a bimetallic strip. It looks kind of wavy uh, because it's starting to get old and it's bent back and forth by people. But what this is, is it's a strip made up of two different types of metal. Every different type of metal has a different linear expansion coefficient, which is a fancy way of saying different metals expand at different rates. If you increase one by 10 degrees Celsius, it might expand by a millimeter, and another one might only expand by half a millimeter. But with this strip, since it's two different metals and we've fused those metals together, when I heat it up, what we're gonna see is it actually starts to bend. And I've shown this demonstration to people before and they look at this and they see it just bending and they don't think that it has anything to do with thermal expansion. They think, well, it just bent because it's melting. You're somehow melting the metal in that really hot flame, but that's actually not what's happening. This, this metallic strip, the bimetallic strip, has the two metals fused together, and when one of them expands more than the other, it will actually cause it to bend. Because one side of the strip is getting longer than the other side, the only way for them to stay fused together is for the actual strip to bend. And this is returning as it cools down, it gets closer and closer to being straight. Now, once again, some people think that I just heat it up and it bends down because gravity's pulling on it and it's getting warm and malleable. But if I hold this the other way and I heat it up now, it actually curls up. This isn't just gravity pulling down on it. What's happening is that one side of the strip is expanding more than the other side and the, the bimetallic strip actually starts to bend because one side is expanding more than the other, the strip bends on itself. This used to be really, really important in your homes because bimetallic strips were found inside of the old thermostats that controlled whether your heat or air conditioning would turn on. And if you looked inside of one, you'd see this piece of metal that was coiled around uh, probably about a dozen times. And what that would do is when the temperature changed, the bimetallic strip would actually bend. And so inside the thermostat, if it bends, if it bends more, it tightens the coils. And if it bends less, it would loosen the coils and it would actually move the end of the strip up and down. And that would be used to complete the circuit or to break the circuit and either turn the furnace or the air conditioning unit on and off. In modern thermostats, they don't use bimetallic strips anymore because the bimetallic strips actually take too long to bend and coil. And so what they've changed to is they have two metal disks inside of a thermostat and inside will be a gas. And when that gas expands, when it heats up, it expands and it actually pushes those metal plates further apart and the inner plate will either break or complete the circuit, depending on whether it's being pushed in or pulled out.